Hello! We're at the zoo today. Come with us as we find some of our favourite animals. And sing some of our favourite songs. We're all going to the zoo tomorrow. Zoo tomorrow, zoo tomorrow. We're all going to the zoo tomorrow. We can stay all day. We're going to the zoo, zoo. home here at Zadacel, Whipsnade and London Zoo. My name's Elise and this morning I, I'm up here at Zadacel, Whipsnade Zoo to bring the zoo to you. Now earlier on in the year we were really sad not to be able to welcome you here for special Children's Day. So we got our thinking caps together and we thought well why not bring it to you at home. So welcome to our newly branded sensational festival at home. So first things first this morning I thought I'd take you to visit one of my favourite animals, the African lions. We're just outside their home at the moment. Should we go and see what they're up to? So lions sleep for 21, at least 21 hours every single day. So the majority of the time you come up here, you play a bit of a game of sleeping lions. one just walking towards us. Hopefully you can make her out in the background. The others, as predicted, we're playing a game of sleeping lions over here. So how many can you count all together? We've got a pride of four African lions up here at Zeller Cell Whipsnay Zoo. Now it looks like we had one that just woke up for a second just to see what his sister was up to and has uh, fallen asleep back already. Now let's see, do you reckon we could follow her around? Let's see if we get a good view. Now this is Kia, and she's the only girl in our pride up here. So she's much smaller than her brothers. So it's a really easy way to tell them apart when you come and visit us up here. Right, so let's have another look at these sleepy heads over here. Now have a look. I mean, they're not really showing off their ferocious predator reputation at the minute, are they? But what do you reckon is on our lion's breakfast menu today? I don't think Weetabix or cereal is quite gonna cut it for them. They will certainly be digging into a lot of meat. But whilst we've got such a brilliant view of them, I want you to have a good look at their paws. Look how huge they are. Absolutely massive, aren't they? And tucked away in there 
are some brilliant secret weapons to come out, and that is their claws. They keep them tucked away under a hood where they keep nice and sharp as they're just walking around, but they bring them out when it comes to hunting to really dig into the side of their prey. But there's something else that they use as well. Imagine that we are hungry lions, and on the horizon, we have spotted a delicious looking zebra. We chase after the zebra, we use our claws to dig into the side, and then we go in to make the kill. What are we going to use? Let's have a closer look at their heads. Now here I have got a replica lion skull. Take a look at the size of their teeth. They're absolutely huge. Now if you put your thumb out, give me the thumbs up. Now I'll pop your thumb. In fact, I'll put my thumb next to the tooth and that will give you an idea of how big those canine teeth are. Pretty much the size of my thumb. So what they'll do, they'll take down that zebra by either going for the neck or going over their head to suffocate them. A little bit gruesome for this time of the morning, isn't it? Now, once they have clamped on, this is where we need to get our imagination caps on. Imagine we are that lion going to kill the zebra. If we release our jaw too soon, that zebra might not be dead. It might have an energy rush and really run away very quickly. We're gonna be left very hungry and no energy to chase after it again. So what's even more impressive about these very long teeth is that running all the way down the inside, they've got nerve endings. So as their teeth are sunk into their prey, they can detect when the prey's heartbeat has stopped. They know when it's completely dead, it's safe to release the jaw, and they can quite literally bring home the bacon. Question for you, if a lion was to go out hunting, say, 10 times, how many out of that 10 do you reckon they're going to be successful at killing and bringing home some delicious food? Any ideas? It's actually much less than you might think. It is only around two in every 10 hunts that is successful. So when we're feeding our pride up here, we really need to think about how they'd be eating out in the wild. They wouldn't be having big meals every day. So if we were to give them big dinners, they'd be a little bit fat. So instead, on days that we don't give them big dinners, we give them something else called enrichment. And I have some of that to show you here. This here is a boomer ball really really hard now what we do with this is quite gross i'm afraid if you've been, ever been up here to zsl which they do and visited our hippos you will know that their poo absolutely stinks for some reason our lions love the stuff so we cover these boomer balls in hippo poo we chuck them in with the lions and they love to scratch bite work out where that stinky stuff has come from. Now, if I show you this really up close, have a look at the detail. This is one of the boomer balls that has been in with our lions. You can see all of the big scratches, even puncture marks, if I move it around that way, hopefully you'll be able to see them, where their teeth have gone straight through it. Really shows off their power, doesn't it? Absolutely amazing. Now, hopefully you can come and visit and see our lions in the flesh sometime soon. We've been working really hard to make sure you can have a safe visit up here. So you can even see we've got lots of markings on the ground here for social distancing. There's lots of hand sanitizer stations all around site and we're reducing the capacity to make sure you've got lots of space uh, when you come and visit us. If you can't get to us though, you can still help to support both of our zoos, London and Whipsnade and help us really enable us to continue our vital conservation work all over the world by donating by hitting the link below. But make sure you tune back later on today as I'll be back to show you more of our wonderful animals. See you later.